Well, I must admit, having spoken to Hamza Akbar before the match, I'd love to see him do well. This man loves his snooker. He's made a lot of sacrifices to play on the tour. Handicapped greatly by visa issues and a lack of finance, and yet he beat Stuart Bingham yesterday. Your choice. Hey, come back. He's a former Asian amateur champion. Yeah, Dong has won the leg. He and knows Zach how to use a cue, but Zhao Gudong is a former runner-up in quite a, a big world ranking event. Yes, I really enjoyed your interview with Hamza Akbar earlier on. And Going off in the bottom. No, it's great, great story, brilliant evening last night, wasn't it? Or yesterday afternoon when he won late in the day, and uh, Wilson, well, but he is up against a tough one here, as you rightly say. Yao yeah, Gudong has done well, he was so close to winning it, wasn't he? A couple of years ago, this looks useful. Mm, well, as we know, if any, whatever you do here, try not to fail. Even if you hit the reds and leave something on, it's better than leaving a keyboard wherever you want it. Oh, that's a very good shot. That's a class shot. He's left a difficult red on, but he's still a good shot. Now, this is pushy. You've got to be careful on this. Very careful. Played it all right. That was fair shot, in my view. I don't know about you, Neil, but I think the atmosphere Nine. in here tonight's perfect. People having fun, but also respectful. Yes, and uh, it could be a long night, though, Phil. We hope it will stay that way. At the moment, I completely agree with you. You don't know which way things will go, but right now, it's exactly what we're hoping 16. for. 16. And shootout aside, Xiao Gudong is a very fine player. Seventeen. A little, in the last year, surprised he hasn't gone on from reaching the ranking tournament final. Uh, sometimes a few defeats, you become a stronger player overall. Because as you can see, he's got a lovely touch. He's a very classical player. Twenty-four. A little bit of flair as well. Not mechanical. He, Twenty-five. He's just got a beautiful touch around the, the black spot. Not much angle here. He's done really well to get up there, but he's still not got an easy one. But he's already scored more points now 32. in this match than he did in the first round when he beat Rod Lawler 30 points to four in a real grind. Thirty points to four—that's low scoring. It sounds a bit like a bottom of the second division clash on a muddy old pitch in mid-January, doesn't it? Not too much action. But they're not all like that. These matches. This is a different one entirely. And that is a very poor kiss. And he's got—he's actually been lucky there because the red being blocked off by the yellow is in his favour because he had a difficult safety shot otherwise. Extraordinary. Well, he's given Hamza Akbar his chance, and he's not as far behind him here as he was last night. Well, the Xiao Gudong shot just does not make sense. No, there's lots of other ways he could have played it, but uh, we'll see how, how much that affects things here. And the keep was gone in a pretty horrible position here. I don't know how he can keep the break going after this next pot. You can see he's a good player. I've watched him against Neil Robertson in the English Open. Six. And uh, he made a sizable break in the first frame. Got him thinking. 
Well, he overcame a, a sizable deficit to beat Bingham. Will Lightning strike twice? Hamza Akbar, <laughs> Series of kisses took that cue ball to the cushion. It was going could have finished anywhere otherwise. You could do with the balls being a bit more open than this. They're difficult along the cushion, but if you hit them right, they'll go in. I think Andrew Akbar might play one here. The pace, it could wriggle. What a shot. What an outstanding pot that is. One. Very clean. Ten oh, second, second shot thoughts. clock now in operation. Well, I don't rate that shot. Put in the, the blue a little, a little bit awkward. He needs all the colours out in open play. I know he was an awkward shot on the black as well. Since Xiao went for that risky red, he's been a lot more circumspect. <laughs> he's been flirting with danger, hasn't he, all the way through? He's nearly gone off in off about three times. Shot, took his time, he used the clock perfectly, he knew he had about a half a second left. One. Yeah, this could be in the bunch, didn't have to play it. I think he will. Oh, he's on one, he's on the middle red, good shot. Three. Taking the points, I don't know if there's any form of plant there. 11. I don't think so. What he wants to do is make sure he has to be careful not to go in off anywhere. Well, it's a very difficult one, but he might have to just give this his all, this long red. What a shot. So unlucky with that cue ball, just never stopped. He's in a lot of trouble now. How's he going to... Please declare. Sorry? Brown, brown. Brown ball. I'm pretty much sure he was going to declare which colour he's going to play. It's what you normally do I'm when you're in the snooker. One. <laughs> well, that's the second time it's happened. He said it to Ricky Walden in the, the previous frame, did Ben Williams, the referee. You get the feeling time is running out. It's been a shame for him. Great for Jean Goudon. But surely a couple of minutes where the balls are is not going to be long enough, sadly. Even in this particular match, he spotted some really good balls, but things have not gone his way. Well, this is the last chance saloon. If he could take five reds and five blacks and the yellow, he could win. Now, has he got enough time for that? Let's find out. Well, unfortunately, it's not to be. He's made some friends here. He's done really well. He played well to beat Stuart Bingham. But he's going to win here, I'm afraid. Yes, it's back to the Oldham Snooker Academy for... Hamza Akbar what? and preparation for the World Championship qualifying competition. Xiao, though, lives to fight on until tomorrow. Four. Yes, and Xiao, like we say, was Five. so close in the year when Michael White won the shootout. He really was. On the brink. Twelve. 
13. And as I say, you're seeing a very fine player here. And, so, and a player that's naturally very quick as well. 20. That's the point. He can play quick snooker. He's not really looked to be particularly rushed, is he? 21. Don't be running around the table or anything like that. Well, the series like left-handed now. Maybe stick to right-handed shots for now. It was one-way traffic. Jagodong wins easily by 77 points to eight. The last 32 beckons for him. There's the outlaw, Joe Swale. Our next matchup involves him against Alan Taylor.